All right, the way I solved extending these Manfrotto clips so that they could sort of get a, uh, a screw mount on the, on both ends is I took the end that had just the um, stud and I removed that stud, which is this guy right here. That's the stud. I unscrewed, the, took both of these posts off, which came with this fitting. Don't need it anymore. I end up with just this round fitting. I then unscrew this top cap and I get the innards. And what I needed to do, since you can't find these poles online anyway, I had to figure out how to make one. To do that, I bought one of these guys, which is the right diameter to fit right in that slot, right? Those two slots, you just need one of them. Then I drilled a hole right through it in order to hold uh, a cotter pin. Now it came with this cotter pin in the previous assembly. You see that falls out when you take this thing apart. Um, I need, th this is probably just a smidgen larger than the original, not by much, um, but it took a little longer cotter pin, so I cut the screw head off of a screw that fits it just about right. You see that gives me something that looks like this when I push that through there. That, that pin is going to end up going inside that center hole right there, which is going to stop it from slipping out once it's tightened up. Mounted into position, it looks like that. You see that cotter pin goes, or that pin goes right into, I guess you'd call it a shear pin, goes right into that hole on the other side, and now I'm going to put the cap on and tighten it up. Okay, so we've got the cap in there. Uh, I haven't screwed it in yet, but you see I cannot pull this out. That pin holds that in place, so that's important. I failed to mention that piece on the end, that little uh, chrome fitting or stainless fitting, that unscrews so that you end up with a female. It actually has two female ends. We don't need any fitting on the end of it because we're going to be putting one of these guys on the end. And that fits like a glove and it gives us the screw fitting that we need on the other side. So we can now mount that uh, in our super clamp or extension or whatever it is and tighten it up as needed. And we so we now have a screw down that end and a screw on this end uh, as we need. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps you resolve the same problem that's been torturing me.